And the Arizona primary is less than 24 hours away. News 11's Daniel Burke North has also been following some of the hot races. We'll be keeping an eye on tomorrow. And she joins us in the studio and continues our Decision 2024 coverage. Good evening. Yes, Scott, I spoke with a few candidates who said they've been busy all day doing a lot of final preparations for the race tomorrow. I spoke with Arizona State Senator Brian Fernandez, who's running for re-election. I also spoke with Arizona State Representative Mariana Sandoval, who's also looking to keep her seat. Doing the work, we're knocking, we're calling, we're, you know, putting lit out. Um, messages on, on social media. Both candidates say they are busy working into the last minute to get people to vote. First of all, I'm in Goodyear right now, which is part of the district and talking to voters. Uh, we've been making calls. Uh, we've sent some mailers and certainly uh, online really working with our partners. Senator Fernandez is running against Democratic candidate Jesus Arnolfo Lugo Jr. in the primary. Fernandez shares how he's been contributing to the community over the past three years. I brought plenty of money to AWC, uh, Jesus Chavez Boulevard, uh, Highway 95, uh, going up to YPG and working with um, you know, legislators to ensure that our schools are, are as funded as, as well as we can. Um, and I'm gonna wanna continue to do that. Representative Sandoval is running against candidates James Holmes and Matias Rosales. She shares how she says her background legislator and school board experience has prepared her. And then in addition to that, I worked at the attorney general's office for 12 years. So I just, I see my legislative work as an extension of that, uh, as a public servant. And so this has been our, my long, long, lifelong career has been uh, focused on, on public service. Both of them say so they want to remind voters about the importance of voting, not just nationally, but also locally. We still need to work on flipping that state ledge here locally. So it's important that people get out and they vote uh, so that candidates that represent their values are elected and we can move Arizona forward together. A few locals share why they are voting. Well, there's lots of different issues. Uh, number one, uh, we're, since we're a border town, I think we're very concerned about the border, uh, concerned about the economy. I think it's more important than ever to vote in this election. There are so many issues that people need to, uh, you know, that are represented that people need to su support and cast their vote. We reached out to those other candidates for comment, but we're just waiting to hear back. Reporting in studio, I'm Danielle Burke-North.